So after my last mock draft, I was kind of surprised because a lot of the comments were saying Jordan Addison to the Steelers, we should spend our pick 17 on him. And I was like, hold on, this was the same fan base that was saying midseason that we need to spend the first pick on D-line, O-line, and no more skill position players. And here we are back at square one. But let me tell you something. If Deontay Johnson can go for a first round pick and you can make that swap, then you do it. But who would actually give up a first round pick for Deontay Johnson? Nonetheless, a first round pick that's in the top 15. Because let's be real here, that's probably where Jordan Addison will go. And the best answer is, and this is a very good answer, the Packers. The Packers will probably want a veteran wide receiver. Alan Lazard is leaving. You know, Deontay Johnson, they know what he can do. Deontay might be upset too because he finished the year without a touchdown. The Steelers offensive system has been kind of miserable the past couple of years. So who knows? Maybe he wants out as well. Maybe he doesn't trust Kenny or the process moving forward. And he would benefit from a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. So it makes sense. But at the same time, do the Packers want to make that deal? But again, if the Packers or any team wants to make that deal for Addison, who, in my opinion, is the best wide receiver in the draft, you go ahead and do it because he is on a rookie contract. Deontay Johnson only has one year left with the Steelers, and then he is probably gone. And then you already have that chemistry with Kenny Pickett and Jordan Addison. But if the Steelers can't get a first round pick for Deontay Johnson, do they still draft Jordan Addison round one? Absolutely not. I don't even have to explain why. There's so many things for the Steelers team to address right now, and you can get a great wide receiver if you're the Steelers in the fourth round or the fifth round. Or again, you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, so sixth round, you can get studs. So don't worry about that. You got Calvin Austin coming back, Deontay Johnson. You can play him for another year. He's still a very good player, great route runner. So it's nothing to stress over. Kenny will have weapons and Pat Fryermuth as well. He took the next step this year. So yeah, you don't really need to worry about drafting Jordan Addison. But if you get the deal for Deontay Johnson and you want to do that, that's a good deal. And hey, I would not be mad at all if the Steelers took it. It would be very, very exciting to see Jordan Addison and Kenny Pickett back in Pittsburgh. But let me know what y'all think about that possibility. Also, drop your mock drafts in the comment section down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think the Steelers should do in the upcoming future. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, though. And that is it for me on this one. Peace.